My name is Courtney Gilbert and I'm Curator of Visual Arts at Sun Valley Museum of Art. The exhibition that we have up right now is called The Mexican Graphic Tradition, Printmaking and the Political. This exhibition features a collection of artwork dating from the very beginning of the 20th century to the present. And it looks at the way that printmakers working in Mexico and Mexican-American printmakers working in the United States have used printmaking as a tool for sharing news, for disseminating political ideas, and for trying to shape public opinion. The historic heart of the exhibition consists of prints that we were able to borrow from the Calle collection. And it consists of everything from work by the artist kind of known as the father of modern Mexican printmaking, Jose Guadalupe Posada, to quite a few works by artists who were affiliated with the Taller de Grafica Popular, or the Popular Graphic Workshop in the mid to late 20th century. Jose Guadalupe Posada was an artist who spent much of his career working for left-leaning newspapers um, in his hometown of Aguascalientes, Mexico, and then later in Mexico City. Posada is probably most famous for his use of skeletons or calaveras in his prints, using them um, really as a kind of form of social commentary. He often depicted members of the upper classes or political figures as skeletons as a way of kind of commenting on the fact that, you know, at the end of the day, we're all mortal. For the last three years of his life, he used his printmaking practice as a way of documenting and sharing the events of the revolution. And at the beginning of the 20th century, Posada was working in a country that, like many countries around the world, had a largely illiterate population. So printmaking in Mexico was a particularly effective tool for conveying the news of the day using images in combination with text. Posada's work really influenced multiple generations of artists working in Mexico. And among those were many of the artists affiliated with the Taller de Grafica Popular, the Popular Graphic Workshop, which was founded in 1937 um, by several Mexican artists, including the artist Leopoldo Mendez, and also a refugee from Europe named Hannes Meyer, who had been very involved in the Bauhaus in Germany. And together, artists worked to make prints that conveyed their particular political ideology, which tended to align with socialist ideals and values, the ideals that had really driven the Mexican Revolution of 1910. In the years leading up to World War II and, and during the war, for instance, many of the artists made very anti-fascist prints. We have this amazing print called Victoria, celebrating the end of World War II with the, the British, the US, and the Soviet flags prominently featured. After the war, many of these printmakers focused on things like the rights of the working classes and also on, on sort of the prevention of future wars. In addition to the historic artwork in the exhibition, we have prints by five contemporary artists from Mexico and also Mexican-American artists. I think in the work of Artemio Rodriguez, you can see that he's, he's looking at the work of Posada, um, but also at medieval European woodcut art. He makes line of cuts that are just incredibly um, precise and crisp. And they are full of everything from social commentary on contemporary U.S.-Mexico relations to just these kind of wonderful, quiet images celebrating traditions and landscapes of Mexico. Artemio Rodriguez, he was born in the state of Michoacan, which is where he trained as a printmaker and then moved to Los Angeles for 15 years, where he set up a, a press that worked with you know, quite a few contemporary artists. He's now back in Michoacan running a press where he makes his own work, but also works as a master printer. Sergio Sanchez Santa Maria trained at Mexico's National Fine Arts School, known as La Esmeralda in Mexico City, where a number of his teachers had been affiliated with the TGP. And that clarity of image, I think, really comes through in his printmaking. Many of his images tackle political subjects, but he's also interested in investigating Mexico's pre-Columbian past and using imagery associated with Aztec art as the basis for a new kind of contemporary printmaking language. One of the prints by Sanchez Santa Maria that I'm really excited to have in the exhibition is his portrait of some of the leading figures of the TGP. It includes portraits of, of two artists represented as calaveras, and 
One is named because he was still alive at the time that Sanchez Santaneria made the print, and the other has a question mark over his head, and is, we can presume is Sanchez Santaneria himself, who, who's carrying on the legacy of the TGP in the 21st century. The exhibition also includes five prints by two artists who um, work together as a printmaking cooperative called Dignidad Rebelde, or Rebellious Dignity. Um, and they each have their own printmaking practices, Melanie Cervantes and Jesus Barraza. And we have prints by each artist individually and also um, prints that they have made cooperatively together. I really wanted to include work by Dignidad Rebelde because um, I think it gives us a glimpse into the legacy of Chicano printmaking in the United States. Artists who were active in the 1960s and 1970s were using usually screen printing as a technique for drawing attention to social justice causes. And today, artists like Melanie Cervantes and Jesus Parraza are using the same kind of style, working in screen print, using bright colors, bold graphics to create images that are really powerful and legible in their message. And it's interesting to me that Dignidad Rebelde are using their prints um, on behalf of a, a number of different social justice issues, from the contemporary push by a number of Native American tribes in the Pacific Northwest to breach dams in the Columbia River Basin to you know, issues surrounding COVID and, and public health and safety during you know, the last couple of years. It's a really impressive and diverse body of work. For most of the exhibitions that we curate here at Sun Valley Museum of Art, it, we try to bring an artist to this place to look at a topic or an idea through the lens of, of our community. And for this exhibition, I was thrilled to be able to bring a printmaker from Yakima, Washington, named Christy Tiderado. She's a Mexican-American printmaker, um, to spend a week in residency last summer. I was drawn to Christy's work because I had seen some prints from a series she began in the summer of 2020, kind of at the height of the pandemic, honoring the work of agricultural workers in the Yakima Valley and called them essential workers. I invited Christy here to spend time talking to people who were essential workers, whose work maybe wasn't always seen or wasn't always considered essential or critical at the high point of the pandemic. So we went around the valley and talked to, for instance, a caseworker at the Hunger Coalition who commented that, you know, as soon as everybody else's businesses shut down, their work just increased. They really had to make sure that people were fed and taken care of. We talked to lab technicians at the hospital. They were going into rooms of COVID patients and swabbing them to, to test them and, and really putting themselves in difficult and scary positions. We talked to cashiers at Atkinson's Market in Haley, a woman who's originally from the Philippines and her children are still there and she hasn't seen them in three years because of the pandemic, but has been working constantly to be able to send money home to take care of them. One of the janitors at the high school, Johnny Servine, as soon as the school shut down, his work picked up. He was continuously cleaning and sterilizing along with the other custodians and trying to make it a safe space for those who had to be there. Um, so these portraits are a really wonderful um, opportunity to honor that work, I think, to look at our community and some of the unsung heroes in our community. She works in Lina Cut, and there are these, these beautiful, incredibly bold graphic images, portraits that really get at the heart of who each of these people are, each with often with a, a pop of color. Christy, while she was here for her residency, she led a free bilingual printmaking workshop for people from ages six to 86. And together we made prints honoring the people or sometimes the pets or places that have been essential to us during the pandemic. And so we've also hung each of those community member prints. I hope everyone will come in and see the exhibition. We've got a whole host of related programs. It's a great opportunity for a lesson in the history of Mexican art, going back to the beginning of the 20th century, and an opportunity to think about the way that printmaking has been used in Mexico and elsewhere as a tool for political change.